Hey guys, I just wanted to start off this video with a couple quick stories to provide context to my life and what's been going on as far as my progress goes this year with my New Year's resolution of playing music every single day. So life always comes first, real life always comes first, when you're a full-time dad and a husband before you're a hobby musician. So I've been getting beat up a lot lately. I realize that the first single I've been working on hasn't had very much progress this year. And that's basically because I'm still in the process of finding balance between music and real life. It's going to be an ongoing process for quite some time, I imagine. And at least before, uh, until I become more proficient at like capturing the music that's in my head in digital form. So I, I have a learning curve to overcome myself here. So bear with me. I planned to put out a video a few days ago communicating that the original music is taking longer than I had planned, but in the meantime I was just going to put out a live performance or two just to show my progress because I still am playing every day even if I'm not recording it. Um, but then I just got hit with a one-two combo this weekend, so I just didn't have a chance to put out anything even though I really wanted to because I know I've been slacking, just trying to keep up you know with real life here so so let's start from the beginning I started playing guitar at around 14 years old when I was I was about 16 I was ready to buy my first guitar I got my first acoustic electric my family was pretty poor so I, I couldn't you know buy anything expensive but this was used um, it's a honer which some of you might know like hey that's a harmonica company yeah it sure is I mean, this was a good guitar for a long time. It always had a problem with the pickup, though. So, three days ago, four days ago, or whatever, when I was gonna record something, it finally shorted out and completely quit. So I was pretty bummed, to say the least. I mean, it's a nice guitar for sitting around and playing now, but you can't, you can't capture it into your guitar effects loop, into your recording program. Like, you need the pickup to work. So I was pretty bummed when that happened. I wasn't really sure how I was going to move forward in this pursuit of music when I couldn't play my acoustic properly. Uh, the last time I felt this frustrated, I stopped for like a year. So I, I didn't want that to happen again. But financially, I really didn't feel comfortable investing into music when there's kids to feed and bills to pay. You know, so so I just never I just have what I have. I don't have nice equipment. I just have what I have and I make it work for me. And, and I'm at least to the point now where I can record. So I'm going to learn how to get better with that. And I'm excited about it. But anyways, so that night that my guitar stopped working, we're sitting on the couch, my wife and I talking about what to do and the family dog sitting next to her and this is where he comes into the story of this weekend. Uh, she's had this dog for a few years before her and I got together. He was a puppy, uh, you know, in the city. And, like, the security he provided was great. He was pretty aggressive towards strangers. And it was good for where she was at the time in a little subdivision. And she had a lot of people walking through the yard. And it was just a high crime area. So, you know, he served his purpose. We were hoping that when he got out here that he would calm down. And for a year or so, he really did. He improved quite a bit. You still couldn't have strangers over, you know, it'd take him for a while to calm down. You still had to worry about the pizza delivery guy if he was outside, you know. So it wasn't it wasn't great, but you know, we we dealt with it. But either way, he was doing pretty well until until we had a daughter, our daughter together, and she's two now, and the more she has become independent, the worse his attitude has gotten, and he's been getting more aggressive and just doing things out of dominance. And you know, we we always said that if anything had ever happened, that we can't take any chances with the kids. You know, there's just not worth it. Unfortunately, something did happen that evening when my wife and I were sitting out there on the couch talking about it you know discussing my dream guitar I joked you know oh, I'll just I'll just buy my dream guitar now because mine broke you know and 
she had already heard, you know, which one I had wanted and had it saved on her phone from, you know, whenever I had talked about it last. So, but as we're talking about this, the dog, for no reason apparently, just uh, reaches over, grabs her hand, and starts squeezing and growling viciously. And, you know, she's okay, but not before one of his canine teeth poked through the top of her hand and damn near went out the other side. So it was serious. It was deep. You know, um, she's okay, but it did happen. So fortunately, she's all good. She's feeling much better. The swelling went down, but we can't take any chances with the kids. So this is exactly the kind of thing that we had always kind of worried about with him and the next morning I had to take him to go be put down you know I brought him home and buried him here at the house it felt terrible the family's not going to be over it for a little while um, she was pretty devastated because that was her dog and he was always very protective of her so for him to do that means something was going on in, in his head that was just not right so Regardless of why it happened, it happened, um, and so we're going to move on from there. So after burying him, I realized that my wife's going to be fucked up for a few days at least, uh, where she can't really be using that hand, and she just needs to relax. So she's super mom, obviously, though, so things still need to get done. Things are getting done, but I'm doing my best to help out with cooking, cleaning, you know, uh, going to get groceries we still needed groceries for this week regardless of whether or not she was bit by the dog and we had to put it down or not so we go out grocery shopping I figure I'll do most of the heavy lifting for her uh, go through Arby's shout out to Arby's yum uh, their parking lot's pretty full so we didn't want to park there and eat so we kept driving she said well we're just gonna go over to the store but do, do you think she uh, you think she pulled into Walmart or you know wherever for groceries no she pulled into freaking Guitar Center because my wife's awesome so she had this phone this uh, guitar pulled up on her phone like I said she had already sourced that this guitar was at this Guitar Center and she was gonna go pick it up for me regardless while I was at work whether we went and got groceries or not didn't matter she was gonna get it for me so I really have hit the wife lottery she's super frugal and smart with our money but she said I work hard and I deserve it so I mean pretty uh, pretty great this isn't like a top-of-the-line guitar or anything it's it's an X series special it's not crazy but it's a Martin an acoustic electric cutaway Martin and it's I've always wanted one and it, it it really is gorgeous it's a great guitar it sounds amazing it's beautiful I am thrilled to have it you know it's it's not not the greatest thing in the world but to me it's a bucket list item and it's it's marked off the list I got it we got it <laughs> so so yesterday I buried the dog and I got my dream guitar in the same day. I don't know if that's a bad omen or what, but I would like to think it means that sometimes the universe is testing you to see if you're willing to persevere past the obstacles set before you because quitting is so easy. Uh, but out of the two things, quitting or pushing forward, I think you know which one is more rewarding. So needless to say, new music is coming. I have the guitar now. I'm going to be hungry for it now, and I'm going to be going after it. So stay tuned for all of my updates. Click all the things below. The like button helps with the algorithm. Subscribe to click the, and click that bell thing on YouTube to follow me this year. And uh, the thing you can really do to help out more than anything, wink, wink, click the share button. More music's coming at you. Thanks, guys. See you soon.